All right, guys, it's another beautiful New England week here in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Josh brought the Shelby. Today is Tuesday. They were at the fire department yesterday, so I was busy doing everything that goes on here pretty much besides working on the cars. Good to see this thing out and about. Josh is driving this because Jay Nelly has his truck while we wrap up his truck in the shop. Giveaway Denali is sleeping over there. If you haven't checked it out yet, click that friggin' link down below. Boston Mobile Tower, we got Jay here doing a couple sets for us. Always coming in clutch for the boys. Quick turnaround and that's what we love. Today's a special week. We've had two weeks without our main character on the show here, LM Built. <laughs> <laughs> Little surfing hiatus. So he is growing out the dreadlocks and he is a vegan now, so that's good. Dan is wrapping up an oil change, filling her with some new fluids, and then I believe Tune is already uploaded and startup is shortly to follow. I'll make sure I get that on video. Confidence level, Dan, 50-50? 50-50. 50-50, it's better than 60-40, right? Jay's mounting the tires for the Firebird right there, and Brian's just swapping out the transmissions. Like I said in the past video, that's the transmission out of the GTO, so. Glenn will be on the road and ripping. We will be having a Cars and Coffee coming May 2nd here, I believe. So we'll be putting that up on Facebook and everything like that so you guys can bring your cars out if you're local and uh, come meet the boys, see what we're up to. But uh, Josh is just still cranking away on the Mustang. We've had so many builds that we need to get wrapped up and there was a lot of extra suspension parts on this so taking a little longer than we anticipated just with all the additional parts that were dropped off but that's okay because it's going to be pretty badass when it's done but uh, we're strapping down the lightning the motor's been in for a few days we were just waiting on oil which was sold out everywhere for the supercharger but we got her filled up um i believe this should be pretty quick what do you what are you doing to the tune from where you left it? Uh, pulling some timing out. Yeah. And yeah, it was a little spicy. It really wasn't. Am I? I'm pulling, I'm pulling timing out. Yep. And then I am going to um, just make sure AFR is good. Then do a couple of wide open pulls and it should be. Yeah, see what it puts out for boost with the smaller pulley. Yep. Just what are you anticipating? Just clean it up. I think between like 16 and 18. What was that before? Like 19. 19. But um, with the smaller, with the smaller blower, the boost will come in come that in sooner. Sooner, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I got a, and then it's just drivability stuff like idle and stuff yeah. like that. It idles pretty good, but um, I just gotta, you know. <laughs> yeah, and actually just drive it a bit. And then I'll get my greasy paws on this thing and get it cleaned up for Tyler. That way it's good to go. I still, I don't know how he cleans it with no roof on, but just going to have to use a little bit of finesse on that. I'll turn the music back on for these cats so they don't keep getting mad at me because I don't get mad anymore. I am now a new change person. Really? The uh, veganism is kicking in already. Vegan, yoga. Hell yeah. Surf boy. Surfboard. No more, no more getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> no no more so getting angry. <laughs> Cut to Brian getting pissed about something this week. <laughs> what the f <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh man. Just had to, had to show this. Shout out to Clark's Catering. If you're watching the video, Chef Brent. Good stuff. What we got? Joshua. Buff chick special? No, that's a burger. Burger guy? I had buffalo chicken yesterday. Four buffalo chicken sandwiches. Let's go. <laughs> Clark's parked at Mucky's. So if you're interested, get this after it. Alright guys. Got her running. Did a couple heat cycles. Now Josh is gonna do a step test for the data log. There's no muff or there is a muffler on this truck. Still a stock exhaust, so it's not very loud. Well, it looks good. It's got the rear bumpers, which I like a lot. I think it should be pretty quick tune on this one. Not an aggressive cam. It has the six speed, so the trans is being tuned. All right, Josh is getting ready to do a pull.
just a little baby pole that's the first pole we've done since the motor is in all we did before was run it to 40 check the strap sounds damn good Josh and Mike are just making some small adjustments and fueling right now so I won't bother Josh too much typically I like to pick his brain on stuff as he's doing it because I know you guys enjoy some of the technical stuff but we'll let the boss man do his work 300 horsepower side, dude. Have you been telling people it's 300 horsepower, dude? No, I don't talk about it. No, he's it's, a nut 300, it's faster, 285. Faster than the Corvette, 285. bro. 285. Dude. He, oh, wait, wait, 300 wheel. Oh, yeah. woo! Making big power in that red saw, bud. So, but we lift it up at what, 180? 185. <laughs> you were close. You're just 100 off. Keep the teen in the mind. It's going to make like three, maybe. <laughs> this isn't even gonna start. <laughs> this is a up, dude. No, I'm kidding. If I ever finish it, I would not wish that on any man. I heard the guy that installed it is fucking trash. <laughs> That's true. As he's Some working loose, on Jay Nelly's truck. Couple loose bolts. Couple loose screws in the guy's head. Race way, bro. The Saab? I don't know. How many people have you told that it has 300? You've been 300? smoking bath salts again, huh? I don't talk about it. Youngest bath salt addict <laughs> ever. <laughs> Intake air temps are hot, it's pulling time. Yeah. So just a little warm, a little bit less on that one. Missed the pull in between as doing something else, but looking pretty good. Josh just checking the one of the plugs real quick because one of the issues we had before we took it apart and gave it the old lm built treatment uh it was blowing the straps off so yeah and we're what to, we're at, at 10 degrees we're at 10 degrees of timing now we're within 30 horsepower of, of where the, of the blower. big blower of the big blower yeah the three, three four. four and this is a two three two three yeah and it's not we only have 10 degrees of timing you were at 16 when it popped the last time yeah yeah, so it's too much. Too much, yeah. <laughs> but supposedly it's a twenty-five thousand dollar built engine that can handle all of it. So yeah. They supposedly got seven hundred on pump before, which I mean, who knows? All right, folks, they beat me to it, but we got some mail here. We got some mail. Shout out to Chevrolet. LT5 came in keeping it a secret for now what this is going in but if you follow us along you'll figure out the answer for yourself trans is on its way they're a little back get the hand built in there right who signed it who do we got i know i saw that robert hodge you savage good job buddy but look at this thing this is a did you already do your I, I already kissed it. Yeah, right. that's it's pretty good. cool. It's got like <laughs> yeah, exactly. direct injection. Whisper sweet you know, nothing. So there's 16 injectors, so you got all the fuel. Craziness. Alright guys, this one is leaving us right now. Jay and Ellie just got here from his trip to unload at Josh's truck. He said he's buying an F-350 next, so <laughs> that means he enjoyed the truck. But this is all done. We got the cam in. Uh, it's tuned, trans tuned. We also did helper bags in the back with the Bluetooth compressor. Uh, so it's nice and easy. You got the app on your phone or you can just use the handheld controller. Um, so yeah, like I said, on this one, we just did an NSR cam, something mild. These trucks with the six speed transmissions don't necessarily love to go crazy on the power. Did shorty headers as well. Oh, hi. And, uh, definitely added some added some beans to it so should be much better for towing the Camaro it's one last look at the beast and just picture it with the Camaro in the back all right folks customers here yesterday so I didn't want to blast them too hard with the old GoPro but we did get the LT5 in stock here just a quick moment of silence for a beautiful unit right here it ain't dead. She hasn't even taken her first breath yet, brother. 
still in the womb. This is exciting stuff. Very, very exciting stuff. We're waiting on the transmission still from GM. Just needed to locate one. Uh, they had some of the motors ready to go. But Josh is just tuning another lightning right now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully get a couple pulls for you guys while we're doing it. Massive amount of progress that old Dano is having over here. He's going after the oil pump gears on Cody's 5.0 right here. Um, like coyotes a little bit more after this job. Yes, do you? Yeah. Especially once you get them oil pump gears fixed, dude. You can basically bring these things right up to 800 wheel with no problem. So. They're not bad, dude. Not bad at all. I just don't like... Or more. I mean, people push them way past 800, but you could daily drive this thing at 800 horsepower with no issues. I still might have to pick up an F-150, bro. Put a coyote in it? Or, well, buy the one with the coyote? Yeah. Yeah. They're expensive. I was looking. Like, if you want anything worth buying, it's like... I'll lease that bitch in twin turbo. <laughs> <laughs> lease it. Be, they're like, sir, we, we can't take this Hold back. And you're like, what do you mean, dude? <laughs> After looking at LSs all the time, it's always cool to see a coyote taken apart with all the timing components on each side. Yeah, real, real cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not for you with all the parts, but I think it's cool looking. What, the oil pump gears? I mean, just some grooves. Nothing. The, these are the units right here. This is the, the old unit. Yeah. Um, and then the new ones are billet from MMR. Shout out to the guys at MMR. Dang. These are definitely much more solid than what comes there. Rumor has it that if you just throw those up in the air and let them hit the ground, they break. got us pretty damn close to our expectations and we only pulled to 53 on that one 435 horsepower and for torque we got 493 so lost a little torque but uh i mean four torque is not anything to even think about so pretty pretty damn good she's a rowdy machine i almost want to say this one's louder than the other one but it's kind of tough to tell. My ears just ring pretty much by the time I leave this place every day. Just a quick look though at Glenn's Firebird. I will say, Brian, the black wheels, much better. Smoking hot. Much better. I don't know what he's gonna do about that uh, front end lift he's got, but he ordered the springs and I'll just flip this up a little bit here. Eh, no, I won't, but. You hear those new pump gears are rated to over 4,000 horsepower? Uh -uh. At 10,000 RPM, yeah. The MMRs? Yeah, proven, proven, like race proven. <laughs> really? Yeah. Or is that what Nick said? No, that's what, <laughs> that's what Nick it's, said. It's, it's what MMR said. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, but if MMR says it, I'm in. But right. I don't think his goals are quite right. 4,000 <laughs> when it leaves here hey, next yeah. fall when he does the turbo. But, hey, you, you know, 4,000 or less, right? We also pulled in this beast right here. Engine's all painted and everything like that. Uh, this one had to go on hold for a couple days while we got stuff done. Sorry, Jake, if you're watching. You know, we love you. Thanks for being patient with us. That'll be going back together. This is gonna be probably the baddest Yukon in the state, making claims, big claims on that, but I'm gonna make the claim. And it has LM stickers and stuff on it, so it makes it even cooler. Five o'clock, you headed to, uh, what are you doing today? Throwing axes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. This
this is actually my first ride in the Shelby this year. I'm just gonna go check out a space that we may be doing cars and coffee at. So. All right, you boys got the keys. Beautiful, beautiful town. Bridgewater here. Alright guys, this one is leaving us today. Shout out to Tyler for trusting us with his baby right here. Give me one second, boss. Uh, left us with $5.99 and like $6.50 torque. So it's a freaking tire shredder, but say what you want. I think that this is badass and I look freaking good in it. So that's it for this one. Hopefully he enjoys it. But, uh, boss is calling. Tom, put that camera away. Alright, another satisfied customer. Hopefully he doesn't just burn the tires off as soon as he leaves the That's place. And... <laughs> and it has some stretched rubs on there. He's gonna put four spark plugs through his hood too. <laughs> Alright, uh, on to the next. Man, who painted that engine? It looks amazing. I heard that was actually Bill himself. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Bill, um, another week at Larkin Motors, another episode of LM Bill, right? How are you feeling? Good? Feeling good getting a couple cars out of here. I got the lightning out of here. Firebird. Both, both lightnings. Both lightnings. Firebird's just about done. We're just waiting on like a five dollar part that is sold out. It's always the way. Yeah. Uh, the charger. We're just waiting on a PCM for that, and that should be th that for that. Dan's close on that within a day. Then Jake's motor's going in. As soon as that Mustang's out, Joey Williams is going on. Yep. And Get then, that thing in there. And uh, Velocos needs to come in so we can. We got all the parts for that now. For the air conditioning. Yeah. I'm trying then, to think what else. And um, after when this goes out, Rob Roses is coming in to pull the motor on that. Yep. And then uh, the Fox body's warming up right now. We're gonna be having the Holly guy that we use tune on the dyno for sake of saving time and taking a little bit off of Josh's plate. And then what's next? We got GT500s coming in. We got Camaro with a blower. GT500s. Yeah. Yep. So it's gonna be busy. It's good. It's good. We got the LS3 Monte Carlo. Yep, LS3 Monte Carlo. That build's coming in. He's getting the motor gun at the machine shop right now. We got the El Camino coming in Monday, which that's kind of, it's an older car. It's kind of just a go through it. The Datsun's coming in. Oh yeah. Dotson, I forgot about that. The Dot Truman, Truman's Dotson's coming in, motor's coming out of that Couple thing. Veterans. We're freeing up we freed up the motor stand though, so that'll just We we have a pile of engines we need to get rid of. Yeah. We got a Duramax we still gotta get done. Thanks yeah. for, for the universe for making that one happen. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. But um But yeah, that's that's it for this week guys. I, I wanna end the video with two of the best looking faces here at Larkin Motors. Um, do you guys have anything to say for the Who's end of this the week's video? Mine's better than Josh's. 
Well, two of the best. Mine's better. The best being no. the one behind. He's got baby blues, bro. You didn't see me back in the day either. <laughs> I did. Nothing did. impressive. Oh, okay. <laughs> bro, I was a specimen. <laughs> One last look at Jake's motor, because he's going to be dropping it in, and that's going to be in next week's video. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave them to deal with their marriage alone. Just a quick look at the beautiful lot that is Larkin Motors. Definitely can't say we specialize in everything, in anything, because we have a little bit of everything. But that's how we like it around here. And uh, thanks for watching LM Built. As always, we got like just about a hundred weekly dedicated subscribers, viewers, watchers, and we thank you for that. But that's it for this week's video, guys. Gonna wrap it up, and we'll see you next week.